we have a big inefficiency in multiple sclerosis. See, way back when it first started, before we were diagnosed, even before we started feeling our first symptoms, our immune systems started to attack our myelin. And that created a lot of debris. A hallmark of MS is that we don't clear away that debris. And it's that debris that prevents the process of remyelination from happening. It would be great if there was a product we could just sprinkle on our brains to remove it, but nothing would exist. That's not saying nothing can be done because I've done it and so can you. Hey, it's Steve. This came up because RR commented worried about fasting because of his inability to keep weight on. But RR, the fasting I promote is nothing like that. Many people think that fasting is calorie restriction. In a way, they are implying that is the only thing that matters, not the frequency. But what I am saying is the truth about it is really, it's all about the frequency. Getting back to the debris, eating one meal a day, regardless of the amount of calories consumed, activates what is called autophagy. Autophagy means self-eating. <laughs> that sounds bad, but rest assured, this is a good thing. Autophagy is the method by which the body cleans out damaged cells, i.e., in our case, myelin fragments, helping your body regenerate itself. We all experience autophagy every day, but it can be taken to the extreme. Some people fast for days on end, but I never go there. At a certain point, it can lead to muscle burning. Since muscle fights inflammation, I found eating just one meal a day works best. Getting back to the debris I talked about at the beginning of this video, activating autophagy accelerates what is called basic fibroblast growth factor. BFGF for short. It is closely associated with myelin debris removal. And once that debris is cleared, it paves the way for a new myelin regeneration and the end of all symptoms. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.